Hi everybody, this is Diane from Pretty Pink Cottage on Etsy. Look at all this gorgeous color on my table. I am not going to spend a lot of time in introduction here. I have finished my Stash Buster um, color project journals. They are all made with Reduce Digest book covers that are ha all have the same pattern but just different colors. And so each journal features only that color with accents. So when we have flowers, we have green leaves, things like that. But basically it is just monochromatic journals. So I'm just going to quickly go through them because, you know, with six journals I could take a couple hours, but we, we won't do that. We're just going to go quickly. They all have a bead dangle. So there's this one for the orange. And I put this piece of orange yarn trim on the spine. And every they're all <coughs> excuse me, tied with matching seam binding piece. I love the way this collage they're all they all have a collage on the cover too. And I love the way this orange flower bouquet turned out on this with the other pieces that I have on it. Um, by the way, each book will come with a packet of leftover pieces, cut off pages, and just leftover ephemera pieces. Um, so little little things that I had pulled and didn't use. So I put together a little bundle of that stuff for you to use in your journal. So I won't show you those for every kit. They, they are all different from whatever I had pulled. So let's just go through. I'll come in a little bit. I kept the end papers for all of them and I added the um, This Book Belongs To label that came off of the fly leaf on every journal. This one has uh, fabric in the spine here and some rickrack. I have this pale orange while you were out sheet and some washi tape. I think I put washi tape in every journal. is a playing card. So you can see there's all different shades. There's even this deep, deep, dark pumpkin color. Almost rust. This carrot came from a children's book, which is so cute. I dropped my ink pad right here. So I, er, I, I think this was where I had orange inks on my smeared on my hand and I got it on the page. So I covered it with that little journaling spot. I put some fabric flips in. There's a sticker. So this was fun doing a stash buster journal. I just, um, I did a few videos talking about what I did, but here's another playing card shaped like a basketball. I went through various portions of my stash, papers, cards, stickers, um, stamps, postage stamps, all my ephemera binders, paint chips, all kinds of stuff, fabrics and laces, and pulled out <coughs> things for all of the colors that I had and considered it a stash busting journal because there's really no theme other than the color. There are modern things, older things, elegant things, fun and whimsical things, um, stamps, rubber stamps and postage stamps. You can uh, remove this brad so you can take this off and write on the back. I 
I stamped that and cut it out from a Tim Holtz stamp. Some washi tape. I'm drifting. I love this postage stamp. Paint chip. So there's orange. Here is pink. Here's the charm. I forgot to put the hole in there, the eyelet. So I added the charm to a um, bulldog clip and just clipped it to the top. Somebody made this dangle for me and I just thought it was so cute with all these little beads hanging from the chains. I love it. Some pretty <coughs> lace trim on the side and this vintage tassel trim at the bottom. This is a note paper shaped like a grand piano in pink. This was a little pocket I made with my Cricut. It was in, in my stash. Some index cards in here. I use stationary pieces and envelopes from the stationary. I just used a lot of stash. This is um, a recent Happy Mail acquisition. This is a paint chip. Here's the other end of that grand piano. I hope that you'll give something like this a try. Look at that beautiful vintage stationery envelope. There's an index card in there. Because it was really fun. I mean, you don't have to do six, but it's really fun to just pull out one color and work in that color. And it was challenging because some of the colors I don't ever work with, like the purple, and I don't use a lot of green. I don't use a lot of orange. I don't even use a lot of red. I use um, pink and blue, pastel colors, and vintage, like neutral. So it was a challenge to work in these brighter colors and in colors that I don't normally use, but fun. This is vintage stationery. Some of the fabrics and trims are vintage. Here's a little envelope that's been in my stash. It's got a little Rolodex card in there. Some of my vocabulary card, um, flashcards that match the color schemes went in here. And this one has a tiny little pale pink library, <coughs> oh goodness, library pocket. That's been in my stash for a while. So even on the back page inside cover where I put a pocket, I tried to use pieces that I already had in my stash or if I didn't have something that matched, I would make the pocket with cut off piece of the scrapbook paper that I used. Next we have purple. Um, now this one had uh, a crack on the outside of the spine. So for all of these journals, I just reinforce the spine part with um, some chipboard and then Tyvek and then fabric. 
but I needed to cover up where it was cracked here. And it was not because of that the spine was in bad condition. It was when I removed the um, the book block, it, I, I tore it. So I just took this piece of purple fabric with the gold on it and wrapped it around there. And I really like the way that looks, just as a decorative element. So I didn't put any lace on this spine because I didn't want to cover that fabric. But there's the pretty charm and vintage pom-pom has a gorgeous orchid on the front. Um, I did not, I had trouble with purple fabric and I did find some boho type of fabric but they weren't the quality that I needed to cover the spine. So this is actually a piece of muslin that I colored myself with two colors of Distress ink. And I love the way that turned out. I just took my Distress ink pad and rubbed it on my um, Anything not absorbent, like if you have a plastic mat or something, I, I did my glass mat and then sprayed it with water and then I just put my fabric down and I put some cardstock on top of it and pressed and I had to do it a couple of times and move it around. and So I, it's got variations of shades in there and I just love the way it looks. I, I might do that just to have some colored fabric just because I think it's pretty. Just do it in different colors. This is a fabric flip that my friend Sarah made for me. Thank you, Sarah. That was a perfect color for this journal. This is napkin that I Mod Podged on there. This is from a children's activity book. Here's some of the boho fabrics, well, right there. This is a triangle from some quilt fabric that I had. This is beautiful vintage stationery. I did some stamping in purple ink. This is a digital that I printed onto purple paper. <clears throat> it was in my stash. This is um, cabbage dyed paper, I believe. has some fuzzy purple trim on it. I used um, one of my uh, doily dye and I cut these. I did cut these just for these journals. If some of the colors I needed a little help finding enough pieces. So this is a part of that fabric that's on the spine. You can see it has different colors and I just used the purple portion for the outside. There's a vellum circle that I had in my stash along with this die cut. I put them together to be a tuck spot. Some rickrack there. Here's a greedy, uh, little note card with irises on it. Here's some more of the boho fabric. It was beautiful to add to the edges of the pages, but it would not have worked to reinforce the spine. I even had some little labels that had purple type on them. They're from a digital. Some boho fabric here is really beautiful. When this video goes up, 
these journals will all be in the shop. They will all have their own listing. I'm just, in case my battery dies, because it's flashing right now, I'm just going to show you the covers of all of them. And I think you'll be able to see what kind of things I do on the inside of each one. So here's the yellow. This piece right here is actually from the tabs of one of those big uh, vintage pattern catalog, the counter catalogs that I have taken pages out of and used. It's one of those giant pattern catalogs. And they had tabs, and some of the tabs were yellow and some were green. So I used some in each of those books. Here's the red one with a doily and a geranium. And here's the last one I just did. So you can see what they look like on the outside. This one has these gorgeous yellow fluffy flowers that somebody sent me and beautiful um, yellow beads. Got some pom-poms at the bottom. This is a little bit of a cheat because I wanted to use this paper, but it had this on the back with other colors on it, but I put it in there. It's a beautiful image from an old children's book, and I glued it to a scrap of the paper. So you get some yellow stamps and an index card with a yellow border to go in the envelope here. I put in the time cards because they have a yellowish color to them it's from a children's book. I use those yellow stamps as a tuck spot. There's one of those tab pages from the catalog. So many fun things to put in here. It's just really fun doing an eclectic journal. It's eclectic as far as the kinds of elements I put in, but of course um, not eclectic as far as color goes. Another piece of that tab. This one has a little playing card in there. And this one was a large pocket that I made with my Cricut library pocket, but it, the color matched. It had a little bit of green at the top. I just cut that off. I made a tag out of a um, time card. 
Then we have red. So I already showed you the cover and everything. Let's just go inside. This is from a children's book. Stationery. This is a grid from some sort. It was on a big roll of paper. This was a recipe tab card. I just cut the tab off because it stuck up too far. Lots of different shades of these colors that I wouldn't normally put together in a book, but just because that's the theme of the book, I thought it was okay to mix them all up like this. I hope you agree. This is one of the cutoff pieces and I punched the circle out of it, the scallop. I just left it there. You can write on that piece. It's from a children's book. So many fun things like that. It's apple print fabric. It's got a gingham piece of seam binding or um, bias tape at the top. snap card. Love this card with the fish on it. Somebody sent that to me. Perfect for this journal, right? Here's some more fish from a children's book. So cute. There's the scallop I punched out of that piece of paper. There's some more geraniums on that fabric and some daisies. More of that children's book. I just love that it had the red illustrations. Tim Holtz paper. There's a crooked playing card with this lady that was stamped in red. And one more. We're almost done. We have the green one left. Here's the seam binding that was on it. Vintage trim here. Love this vintage trim right there. And these are all vintage fabrics here. Pretty postage stamp. I love these post -it notes. So you get three of these, one in each signature. And I could use my green ledger paper in here. And I had lots of the green flashcards. One of my playing cards, it does have a pink roof. Oops. Bottom's not glued. I 
didn't have green flowers. Like I had flowers for all the other colors, but not green. So I used this one with the white flowers because it has a lot of green leaves on it. I did have a lot of green butterflies though. That's a fabric circle up there with the Chrysler building on it. There's another embroidered trim. Green stamps. This, uh, someone sent this to me. I had yellow ones and green ones. I'm not sure what they are, but there's it's perforated and then these little holes, I guess, and, but they're perforated to come apart as cards, so there's two of them in here. I'm assuming that they were made to go into a computer in the olden days, a printer. It's another one of those Chrysler building circles and then a piece of trim. It's a library card. Here's a green piece of the pattern catalog and I put some vintage stamps on it. This is embossed. one of those cards. Beautiful stationary envelope. I put this wavy washi tape on there to make it look like um, a breeze from the fan. It's kind of a parchmenty looking envelope. I stamped this adorable little girl on here. Another medallion that's embossed. Another little playing card with houses on it. It's got a vintage milk ticket on it. You get lots of stuff in these because I made all kinds of tuck spots and pockets with the, the green, uh, the different colored things that I had. So you get lots of goodies in the book and then you get some more goodies outside of the book that you can play with. And this one I just took one of my plain library pockets and cut a piece of the end paper to fit there and put a green library card in. So there we go, six color project journals and they are stash buster journals and they were so fun and I hope that you love them and I hope that your favorite color is represented here and that uh, you will go to my shop and take one home with you. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I really really appreciate it everybody and I hope that you will have a very creative day today. See you soon. Bye bye.